Hello, I'm Michael Strong, founder of the Socratic Experience, a virtual program for grades 3 through 12. I'm often asked about our Montessori-inspired novice program for students grades 3, 4, and 5. At grade 6, our main Socratic program is the default option, but for grades 3 through 5, we have a Montessori inspired option uh, designed and taught by world-class Montessori educators, truly great human beings. And in that case, the question comes up, how on earth can you do Montessori virtually? Well, it's not Montessori. I don't want to claim that it is, but the notions behind Montessori, the respect for the child, the personalization, the focus on engagement and deep focus from the child as they learn high-level academic skills. That remains. So give you a concrete example. Our program starts at 9 a.m. Eastern, goes to 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. The reason we have such an extended day is parents of younger children may need coverage either on the East Coast or Pacific Coast, uh, you know, for whatever hours they need coverage, so we simply have to provide that. It's in the middle of the day we have most of our engagement. We have group classes, which include reading, writing, Socratic discussion, math that includes personalized lessons, small group lessons, and math games. And the whole way that it's designed is so that it's mostly interactive, and then there are lots of projects. One thing that our students do, and our students love to do it, is they love to do research projects and present to their peers. Turns out, uh, certainly the kids we have love to go and research, but what they really love is to show their peers what they've discovered about frogs or trees or bobcats or avalanches or whatever it is. They're just on fire to think about all of these things and give presentations. So they're either talking with each other and that's exciting, or they're doing research, or sometimes they are doing projects that are coached by our guides. They're called guides rather than teachers. One way we've designed the program is that off screen, the child does have a little work area where the child can do cardboard models or draw or paint or write their little essays or whatever it is. And so they're not on the screen all the time. And this is really important. Um, we did not choose to have a program for children younger than grade three because we don't believe screen time is appropriate for them. Even at grades three, four, and five, we're very sensitive about the screen time. So a lot of the engagement is brief periods where we're talking together and then go off and do a project off screen and then come back and do it together. And then have this sort of back and forth where they're not just staring at the screen all day long, but they're actually doing things. Um, the consequence is the kids love it. Uh, the novice kids love the program. They don't feel like they're being talked to. A lot of people's virtual experience of virtual schooling is being talked at. These kids are alive, engaged, participating as they would be in a Montessori school. And then later in the day, we have art, music, theater. Uh, they sing together on screen. It's really a warm and engaging experience. So it does sound counterintuitive even to me initially that you could have an engaging let's do things together sort of experience with children online. But I think our team has done a truly remarkable job of putting this together. And, and I do want to give credit to the kids. I think the kids we attract have just so much energy. It comes through the screen and uh, it doesn't feel like sitting in class at all. It feels like, wow, I'm in a Zoom call with these firecrackers who are just so eager to think, talk, and uh, explore ideas. So please, if you're interested, get in touch at thesocraticexperience.com. Thank you.